What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And yes, EA Sports has done it again. They've broken the dailies on day one of season three. It's a real nightmare. And what I tried to do for you guys, I posted on X uh, several times. Um, because of what's going on with X and, uh, you know, Sony and Microsoft, it's harder for me to actually get the photos directly to X immediately because now I have to download it to the PS app and then post it on X uh, to get the attention of EA Sports. But what happened yesterday was that a lot of you guys were having some issues uh, with certain things regarding the, you know, getting the three daily objectives. Now, some of you guys did get it, some of us did not. I'm one of those that did all three, but it didn't register because I bought the pack as soon as it dropped, right? You had to wait a little bit for it to reset. It was really stupid. So if you waited and got on later, you got credit for all three, but a high majority of us did not get all three, which means we're gonna be one day behind with the 50 day uh, tracker. But I'm going to tell you guys how it doesn't really matter. We're going to still grind for it and we're going to be all set regardless because that's what we do here at G Myers World and everything's going to work out well. So typically what happens, right? They're going to give us enough time. This is going to bring us into the new year, right? This is like all of zero chill, all that because it's 50 days to get all of the stuff, right? But with the way that they've done this, this is what's really important. The objectives that they've been giving us to kind of offset everything that happens is very, very important. Um, they've made it a little bit more tedious as it goes along because they want us to rage. Uh, it's definitely uh, the intent of the developers to make you hate the game with the way that they do this uh, because some of the things that they ask you to do is ridiculous. Like, yo, punt the ball, throw a pass, run the ball for 17 yards all in the same play. Like, it's real stupid what they're doing. But again, it's part of the grind. So this is what I want you guys to understand. If you're not up to date with the way that this works, you're going to have to focus in on what they're doing. Now, they've already used the three AKA players prior in previous um, you know milestones and stuff like that but they brought it back again early now because I'm doing this video prior to the release of harvest more than likely week two might be three harvest players and then they may change it up depending it might go to zero chill remember it's 50 days involved right so for those of you guys that have been rocking with me I want you to put season three in the comments right because you got all of this from your exchange token from season two so just let me know what happens because you should have gotten that boost right away with the 20,000. I didn't get to play a lot yesterday, so I didn't really get to grind out a lot of the other things. And also, additionally, I did not get everything that I was supposed to get um, out of the daily. So we're a little, like I said, the one day behind is not really that big of a deal because we had the token from season two. So we already got that 20,000 and, you know, pretty much is a head start. But primarily the daily is going to be huge, not only because of the fact that they've upgraded the strategy items, but you do get the credit when it comes to the XP. Now, this is also very important, right? If you did not finish um, the actual competitive pass for whatever reason, because I maxed mine out, I am getting reports that a lot of you guys are still able to get the remaining XP that is in there. Now, you only have a day left to do it. So if you had a few of them left, you could probably get it. Like if you have anything like that, I was getting posts where people were getting the XP and it's boosting them up and stuff like that. For me, it was worth it getting this 91 and not waiting until the last minute because what EA Sports is gonna do, a lot of you guys that are watching this video will not be able to unlock that. Whether it's because of the broken solo battles or whatever it is. By the way, a lot of you guys, we were able to help you guys uh, get some 88 overall all Madden cards. And additionally, I walked you guys through the Mutt Champs. For those of you guys that absolutely hate playing head to head, I walked you through it and a lot of you guys were very happy that I did. You were able to get that 91. So I'm not really worried about um, the fact that I maxed this out because as of tomorrow, it'll be a whole new competitive pass and we'll be grinding through and leveling up regardless. So it doesn't really matter, okay? So as far as the broken, you know, dailies and stuff like that, don't worry about that. We're gonna focus in on getting the other stuff done right now with the week one because this by itself is gonna net us 12 times four, which is 48,000. All right, so we gotta focus in on this. Now, the easiest and the most simplistic way to do this is to put the players in your lineup and then go into a solo battle and do it on easy. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Right now, we only need a few. Remember, these are like statistical things that unless it tells you um, anything outside of it, you can do it in a solo battle. And most of the ones that they want with the head-to-head, -head, it's also a solo battle, right? So score two or more TDs in 20 head-to-head -head games. The only thing that makes it annoying is the way that you have to play the games. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just do it all in one game, but these you can do in all, all in one game. 
You know what I'm saying? The only thing about it is you would have to score and then let the player, you know, the, the CPU kick the ball up to you and get all those kickoffs up to 300 yards in the one game. You, you know, obviously I was playing head to head a couple games yesterday, so I got some of that, but it's very, very simplistic. The biggest thing about it is because I have a 50, a 50, um, AKA team, this is where I get a lot of concern. Like, yo, gee, how am I supposed to do this? Well, what you do is you don't play a regular game. Like I said, you go into a solo battle on easy. So for instance, um, I think I still have, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. I'm just gonna take a few guys out that I know that I have uh, AKA. So I, I know I have him, right? So I'll throw him in as an AKA. I think I have a few other AKAs that I could probably do. Let me just see what else I have in here. No AKA with that. Oh no, I do. Here goes the AKA right there. I'm not sure that the 85s, I, no, actually it, it should work because the 85s are, you know what I'm saying? It still, it has the AKA logo on it, so it should be good. And I believe we may have, no, no, we don't. We don't have an AKA over here, but I know we definitely have one defensively, right? So let's go ahead, oh, maybe a wide receiver probably. Let's see if we have one that's a wide receiver. No AKA wide receivers either. All right, so we would have to actually go and get one. Or to make it easier, guys, th this is pretty much what I usually do. I just go into my items and I just search by, you know, the actual program, and then it gives you everything that you have there. So that way it's a lot easier for everybody. So let's go over there and do that. Oh, Sauce Gardner, he's in the lineup already. All right, so that's three, because I have the Sauce Gardner, I have the quarterback, and then I put the tight end in there. So once I go into a solo battle, you know, Regardless of me not having the most feared, I'm playing the CPU on easy. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You go into the you go into the um, solo battle on easy. So right here, let's just go ahead and take a look at it one more time. Milestones. We go to week one. Okay, we got to get you know a few more of the touchdowns. We got to get like 640, uh, 645 with the touchdowns. Um, I mean not the touchdowns, the rushing yards. We got to get 14 field goals, and then we got to get 300 yards. You know, with uh, return punts or kickoffs. So very, very simplistically, you just go into um, the solo battles here. You would click on it. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much the whole blueprint, whatever. It doesn't matter which one you do. You could press on any one of them. You're just gonna go with rookie. And you're gonna do all of that with the exception of getting everything with the two touchdowns in 20 games. Everything else will be done. So that's another 30,000 XP. And obviously after you do that part, based on the way that the ranking system is uh, with the actual timeline, you're probably going to unlock a few things. Now, the first thing that you're more than likely going to unlock once they show it to us, I don't know where it just disappeared to, like that's stupid, okay? You're gonna unlock this, all right? When you unlock this, uh, the Teddy Hendricks, I wouldn't recommend using him uh, right away um, because it, it more than likely, like I said, it doesn't really make any sense. And also you already have the Michael Vick because that comes with the welcome pack. If you did not get your Michael Vick, you better get on it right now with EA help. Uh, as far as I know, everybody else uh, received it, so you should be good. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick point of order, right? The Barry Sanders and the Teddy Hendricks, you get another upgrade token um, after these additional ones right here. With the Michael Vick, you get that one for Teddy Hendricks. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. Um, over here at the end, you get another upgrade token where you can put it on either one of them. Now, Barry Sanders card is an absolute joke, but we'll talk about that more uh, later in another video. But I just wanted to point that out. You can not upgrade them an additional step uh, once you start unlocking it. So if you follow these tips right now, even before the competitive pass, if you take care of those objectives that I'm showing you right now, you're gonna be at about, I would say about right over, you'll get to probably level 10. Because most people said they were able to get to level 10 and get the second up, second upgrade token. And I'll give you a quick summation of that to let you guys see what's going on in that regard and where Michael Vick will be. Um, so that way you guys, if you wanted to use him, you'll be able to go ahead and use him right away. So he's over here. And um, once you go over to his upgrades in the top left, you'll see the first upgrade, you have to add training, right? And then you start adding the other you know tokens into it. But with the first token, he's already at 89 speed. All right, so that's a huge step right there. Remember, he also gets some real freaky abilities. Now, with the way that the 04 Vic, stuff like this, running back, dude, it, this is gonna be crazy in the game. I just want you guys to know that. So we're gonna grind through it, we're gonna get it, and I'm gonna get you guys that Vic gameplay, and we're gonna have some fun with it. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day. One love, y'all.